Welcome back to my channel. Today we go deep inside some very interesting financial connections between FC Barcelona and some of their former legends now playing for Inter Miami. Three of FC Barcelona's most legendary players, Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets, and Jordi Alba have all made their way to Inter Miami. What you might not know, however, is that Barcelona is still paying these players to this very day. Today we delve into the financial details behind that surprising situation, showing why the Catalan giants remain tied to their former stars. In order, therefore, to fathom why the likes of Messi, Busquets, and Alba continue to be paid by Barcelona, we have to go as far back as the 2020 to 2021 season. At the height of the pandemic, Barcelona, much like many clubs, were fighting against unforeseen financial circumstances. And things got worse as they amassed an incredible 481 million euros in losses that year. With empty stadiums and an abrupt fall in revenue intake, the club had to take stringent measures. One of these was to delay the remunerations due to some important players like Messi, Busquets, and Alba. That is, the players themselves agreed upon postponing part of their salaries so that the club could keep its head above water. That means that these players, while still playing with the club, were taking smaller checks in exchange for being paid that remainder later. Fast forward to today, Barcelona is still settling those deferred payments in exchange for Messi, Busquets, and Alba wearing the pink jerseys of Inter Miami. But the financial burden of these players didn't stop when they parted ways with Barcelona. The catch was that all those deferred salaries were all accounted for in the 2020-21 financial year, meaning they are not weighing down Barcelona's budget currently at least, from an accounting standpoint. The good news for the Barcelona fans is that this will be the last season the club will have to provide these types of payments. At the end of 2024, these financial obligations with Messi, Busquets, and Alba will be over. However, although the amounts have already been accounted for, they still affect the cash flow of the club. Those wages were agreed during times of financial turmoil. Now, as the club rebuilds, they are working to get back on firmer financial footing. The top brass at Barcelona does seem convinced that they are closer to reaching a one-to-one -one ratio according to financial fair play, where they get to spend what they bring in. Of course, one of the most painful chapters in this financial saga was Lionel Messi's departure in 2021. It simply couldn't afford to register him with La Liga under the financial fair play regulations. His move to Paris Saint-Germain sent fans worldwide into shock, but it was a needed move that had to be taken by the club at that moment in time. Now, Messi is shining in the MLS, but Barca is still paying his wages, defrayed from his time in Camp Nou. That, with the payments of Busquets and Alba, was one of the reasons why things got so complicated with Barcelona's financial situation. Notwithstanding these installments that are still outstanding, the Catalan team is already looking to the future. The forecast revenue for the coming season at the club is some 893 million euros. The return to the renovated Spotify Camp Nou will further bring in more money despite the fact that during part of the campaign, the ground will be operating at reduced capacity. Barcelona will therefore present their financial results for last season, with a net loss of 91 million euros, at the forthcoming assembly of the Board of Directors on October 19th. They hope to attain a small profit next season. The club is hopeful that new sponsors and investors coming in will now help to stabilize the finances. Curiously, Messi, Busquets, and Alba are not the only ones who continue to receive money from Barcelona. Another club legend in Luis Suarez had payments for back salaries, although these are not as well reported as all the others. All are expected to be paid off come 2025 and will have freed Barca of these financial debts. Looking ahead, Barcelona remained confident that it has put itself on the right track of financial recovery. With new stadium revenues, fresh sponsorship deals, and strategic financial planning, the club will continue to strengthen their squad to start competing at the highest level again. At the latest, by December 31st, they even hope to register new signings like Danny Olmo and Pau Victor. Barcelona has trodden a very long and painful path towards financial stability, but with the end of the deferred salary payments finally in sight, the club is confident about the future. Closer to balancing the books, Barcelona would definitely be in a very good position to relive the glory days both on and off the pitch. So, while Barcelona is still paying some of its biggest legends, Finally, the end of this financial chapter comes in view. And as Messi, Busquets, and Alba continue their careers in the MLS, so too are Barcelona ready to finally turn the page and start anew. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth football content. Until next time.